everybody and welcome back to at home workout number 46. Before we get into our bench press and our partner Murph prep workout, we're going to get into our warm up. So our warm up today is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be starting off with a 400 meter run. That's basically your buy in. So once you finish your 400 meter run, you're going to come inside and you're going to do three rounds of 10 alternating jumping lunges, five push ups, and then three wall walks. So you got your run and then your three rounds of the three movements. So the warm-up's gonna be starting with a 400 meter run. Once you finish your run, you're gonna come back in to where you're working out. You're gonna perform 10 alternating jumping lunges. So knee to floor as we jump and switch those feet in the air, taking the opposite knee back down to the floor. Then you can go over to the wall wherever you're doing your wall walks. You're gonna get into that plank position. You're gonna perform your five push-ups, and then we can go right into our wall walks. All right, walk in those hands all the way back to the wall, all right, as far as we're able to maintain tension in the stomach. Okay, I don't want you guys walking too far back to where all this disengages and our hips and our stomach sink into the wall, okay? Keep your stomach tight, keep your butt squeezed, and then walk back as far as we're able. So, 400 meter run, 10 alternating jumping lunges, five push-ups, three wall walks for three rounds. So for our strength, just like last week, we're going to be continuing with four sets of 10 on bench press. If you don't have a bench, um, you can do them from the floor, so a floor press, or if you have a wall bar or something soft that you can put between your shoulder blades, then you can do your bench press that way just to give your elbows some, some more room to go below your chest. But four sets of 10 on bench press, and I want you guys to try your best to keep that bar moving throughout all 10 reps rather than pausing and then going again. So four sets of 10 on bench press. For our Murph Prep Partner workout today, we're gonna to be starting off, uh, well this workout is for time, but we're gonna be starting off with a two mile run. Okay, the kicker here is we're gonna be alternating every 200 meters. So you and your partner are gonna split the two miles. So each partner is gonna be running one mile to start. All right, it's gonna be a little bit faster pace than you would if you were running the mile by yourself. But I want you guys to um, try and keep a little bit faster pace than you would if you would start running a mile by yourself. So you and your partner are splitting up two miles. Once you finish that two mile run, you're going to come inside and you're going to perform 100 push-ups between the two of you. Once you finish your 100 push-ups, you will then move on to 300 air squats between the two, partitioning those reps however. Then you're going to go back to another 100 push-ups. And then we're going to finish with another two mile run. So kind of a simulated Murph here without the pull-ups since we had some pull-ups yesterday. Don't want to wear your hands out. But we're going to get into the two mile run to start. 100 push-ups, 300 air squats, 100 push-ups, and then finishing with another two mile run alternating each 200. And if you got a vest, uh, and if you got a vest, don't forget to wear it. I forgot to mention that. This is Murph prep. So if you plan on wearing a vest, Wear it for this workout. Now say you're doing this workout by yourself and you don't have any friends to play with, then you're just gonna cut those reps in half. But I want you guys to rest one-to-one -one on the run. So instead of just running a full mile, I want you to run a 200 at a pace you would if you had a partner, and then rest that same amount of time. So if say you run your 200 in a minute, then I want you to run your 200 and then rest a minute until you accumulate a full mile, okay? And once you finish your run, then of course cut those reps in half. I want you to do 100, or sorry, 50, then I want you to do 150, and then 50 again. So just splitting up those reps um, if you were to have a partner, but just cutting those reps in half. And then of course finishing with another mile run with a one-to-one -one rest. For those of you guys that want a little bit of extra work today, we're gonna be doing a eight minute MRAP. It's gonna be a one to 10, or one, all the way up, doesn't have to be to 10. You probably won't make it to 10, but uh, we're gonna do one to 10 ascending rep schemes of a power clean. I want you guys to get as heavy as possible here. So, um, for instance, if you're familiar with our levels, level one, then I would recommend probably like 155, level two, anywhere between 185 to 205, and then level three, 225, up depending on your ability. But I want you guys to make this barbell as heavy as possible, but not a weight that you're gonna be failing, okay? So even when you're under fatigue, it's a heavy rep, but you gotta think twice before gripping and ripping, all right? So heavy weight here on the barbell, ascending power clean reps, and then 
Uh, once you finish that, then we're gonna go into three times the amount of power clean reps to sit-ups, okay? So, say you start with one power clean, then we're gonna do three sit-ups. Two power cleans, six sit-ups. So on and so forth until that eight minute time frame is up. So like I mentioned before, I want you guys to get as heavy as possible here on these power cleans. So three, two, one, go. We're gonna start off with one power clean to the shoulders, we're gonna set the bar down, and then go into our three ab mat sit-ups. All right, two, three, whenever you finish that third rep, you're gonna come back to the barbell. You're gonna perform two power cleans. All right, once we finish those two power cleans, then you're performing your six ab mat setup. So, however many power cleans you perform in that round, you're gonna triple that number, and that's the number you're doing for your sit-ups. And that's all we have today, guys, for our at-home workout number 46. Like always, if you have any questions or concerns about the workout or the movements, always reach out to me, and uh, we can clear that up. But, as many of you may know, May 18th is the day that we are opening back our, our doors here at the gym. Uh, be on the lookout for an email this upcoming week of the steps um, that we're going to be doing to open the doors back up and get our equipment back. So, be on the lookout for that email. But hopefully you guys were able to enjoy the workout today and you have a great rest of your weekend. But until then, make sure you log your workouts and modify, and we will see you on the next video.